Hey everyone, how are you doing? By the end of this tutorial, you learn creative ways on how you can blend colors in Canva while making your loved ones feel special because it's very important. It's really important to make your loved ones feel special, okay? Especially on their birthdays and that's what we are going to be doing today. We are going to be creating a birthday flyer inside of Canva and if you are new to Canva, I have a special link in the description box below that will help you upgrade to Canva Pro for free for 30 days so you can try all the pro features Canva comes with, okay? And if you're new to this channel i invite you to subscribe to this channel if you're looking for advanced canva tutorials and you know this also will help us to hit our goal of 100 000 subscribers by the end of the year so kindly help us by hitting on the subscribe button while we feed you with value okay so yes i think without any further i do or have to say let's jump straight into the tutorial So the dimension we are working with is 1080 by 1350 okay by now you know how to set this dimension and what we are firstly going to do i don't know why i keep saying firstly is that a word let me know i think firstly is a word yeah anyway let's dive into it so this is the background color is white we don't like white okay so we want an off white so come into colors and just tap on the new color okay add the new color and just drag this down a little bit i don't know the marker let's call it the marker drag it down a little bit to get an off-white eb 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 is a color i am using okay now we want to now add the images of our celebrant okay the better celebrant so i will come into my recently used images and just in case you don't have the you just want to try out this tutorial i have a link in the description box below where you can get these same images i am using in canva they are free images so you can get them and um it's actually a link that will open a blank canvas with the images so you can just click on it and start using it i think i'm talking too much pardon me okay yeah okay so select this is the first one you know very pretty beautiful young lady and this is the second one is the third one and this is the fourth one it's the same person it's the same person and i had to find this in canva it took me a while but we're able to get it okay so what i'm going to do is i will duplicate this page okay then come to the, my initial page and delete you know these two because i want us to start with this particular one so what i am going to do is i'm going to come into edit photo and bg remover it should remove the background of my image and this is it very 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 nice okay so reduce the size a little bit and get something like i am getting all right then come into element okay and in element scroll down to you find the frames okay so frames and with frames you can come to the basic shapes click on c or you should get all of this okay but what we are looking for is this triangle down frame select it and you should have it over here then you can increase the size pull it down okay for something like this and send it behind the lady duplicate it position it here and rotate it okay so rotate it something like this and bring it also down here send it behind her then duplicate it again okay and what you can simply do is you can find the rotation of this negative 45 so this can be 45 so select it come here and remove it okay so this is what we have at the moment you can see very very easy then send it behind here so you should get something like this okay so this is where we are coming to add the extra images so we first off this one is more of a close-up shot so i will drag and drop it in the middle double click okay so that i can edit the images i want it to feel yeah something like this so nice then this one since she's looking to the left okay uh -huh. so she's looking to the left so i'll you know drag and drop it here and you can see how it's looking so double click then rotate it okay rotate it and you should get something like that uh -huh. so let me bring i think the image is too big so i'll reduce the size a little bit and you should get something like this then we have this one i would move it to the top and delete this page okay then i'll drag it here double click and this is what i'm gonna do i'll click on done then i'll flip the image okay so that means i have to redo the whole thing again so this is what 
we have at the moment all right yeah okay this is very nice so we've been able to do this very very nice and we were we actually did it so quickly so now what i want us to do is i want us to add some touches to this image okay so come to edit photo adjust and increase the brightness a little bit to 10 the contrast increase it to 14 the shadow no focus on the blacks to make the black blacker the white increase a little bit the white whiter then the saturation increase it a little bit like 28 vibrance can also come up a little bit to boost the the muted colors okay so this is what we have at the moment all right now what we are going to do next is we are going to add some butterflies okay so come into element and you know i know some of you are afraid of butterflies but you shouldn't be afraid of butterflies they are so cute <laughs> Uh, that's funny so come to and says so butterflies so, so butterflies but how come butterflies don't have butter with them or they don't make butter i don't understand why you know so there are so many butterflies you can work with go through and find the ones you love i would want to stick to the recently used ones okay so this is what i want to work with okay so because there are four butterflies i'm going to just divide them okay so separate them now push this here duplicate it i can move this here double click okay and you click and drag so something like this now i can reduce the size of this one okay and i can double click again sorry duplicate and double click and i can now use this one okay then we can make another copy and use the fourth one okay so you can see how just add some dynamics to it okay okay let me just make it smaller okay so the next thing we want to do is to add a text okay so with that we are just going to press t on our keyboard for a text okay then come into the typeface of section and make sure you're searching for Henderson Handelson 3. Okay, yeah, then increase the size. And you can say happy. Okay, happy. Then to the top and just duplicate it and say birthday. Happy birthday. You know, so I, I almost sang the song, but I realized I can be copyrighted easily, you know, so. Let me just keep quiet. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. So select both you know, text, come to the color, then come to add new color. Use the color picker, then pick the colors from any part, okay? But it should be brighter. That's why we want to use this, okay, you know, from here because it was separate. If you use blue, blue on blue wouldn't be good because we wouldn't be able to read the text. That's why we want to use a brighter color. So any color at all from you know the cap you know yeah i think the first one was better so let's yeah because it's brighter then still select them come to effect okay then in the effect come to shadow and you can add the shadow you can see it's been added but we want it to stand out so use a black shadow behind and the transparency you can increase it and add some blur slight blur i think let me just reduce the transparency and reduce the offset okay so that it gets closer to the text okay so this is what we have at the moment i'll move it up here a little bit then i'm going to add another rule so come to not rules flower so come to elements and search for flower okay and over here you can come to photos see or there are so many flowers so many flowers so we have this one you know at this point feel free to use the one that works for you okay and i also use the one that works for me so you can see this is what we have at the moment but i feel like this one i just saw this this can work very well look at what canva is doing it's because the element is too long okay so this one matches what we have so i can maybe fix this here and maybe bring this one also over here and maybe rotate it let me drag it to the top and rotate it well so you can see what i'm doing just rotate it and you can just position this here and i can send it to the back so something like this and something like that okay then we can move this to the top a little bit okay so we want to add her name 
so add another text by pressing T on our keyboard and I can just say any word at all or any name I would use Marie Goldson okay so Goldson so let's assume that's her name okay then I select all and I want to make it bigger a little bit then let's add a shape by pressing R on our keyboard and we'll bring it here okay let me just yeah like this and like that okay then we we'll move this in here then come here come to the border style and add the corner rounding okay so corner rounding and we can adjust the color i think we should use a different color for the shape so you can use the same background color and maybe a darker color okay or maybe a blue color for the name and you can see what we have at the moment now i want us to add the bed month okay the day and month okay so press c on your keyboard okay and we'll position this here reduce it a little bit and this is what we have then we let's set the color to the same pink okay lovely then duplicate it okay then reduce the size then change the color to the same background color and center it over here now with this we are going to use a different font okay so i'll duplicate this position here and let's assume maybe 20 feet okay so 25 and come in here and choose league gothic okay league gothic okay so select it you can increase the size a little bit and i can also reduce this you know slightly okay so this is what we have at the moment then we can duplicate this one again the text okay and now make it match the yeah so the background and the month let's say september will just say september okay so i'll just duplicate this a number of times so another september and another september okay so that's what we have so set okay so select everything come to effect the curve then we increase it all like that okay then make sure you have it centered okay like that and increase it a little bit and this is what we have at the moment we have been able to create something very 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 nice in canva but one thing we can also do it we can duplicate this okay rotate it slightly and send it all the way to the back okay and maybe bring it front over here so that you know she's covered in flowers and this is what we have been able to create the last thing is you can make it blur okay i know you're in a hurry to go but this is the last thing you have to do to so add some blur to it okay just to make it nice then right click copy style and just click on wherever you want to you know which other uh, image and you can see this is what we have at the moment yes this is what we have been able to create inside of canva and i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit on the like button to support the video comment if you have any idea on any tutorial you want me to create and don't forget i have special links hit on the like button hit on the subscribe button the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace